This is integrated math three practice test for T and ready. This is currently anyway, question number seven. What is the equation of the circle with a diameter of six units and a center located at two and negative five? So I'm gonna draw the worst circle you've ever seen. Maybe not, it's pretty bad though. It's because I got nervous there and I missed that part. Anyway, um, the big issue here is do you know the formula for a circle? If you don't, that's what makes this one somewhat difficult. Just lie to yourself and pretend it's a circle. I know that it's not. Um, but the formula for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And the parts reflect a, the component that it's trying to adjust. So the r squared really just kind of tells you how round the circle is. So essentially when you make a circle on a coordinate plane, you're finding the point where the center is and then just kind of growing around it. Well, the r squared part represents that. You should be able to notice visually, by the way, that this is squared and this is squared. So you're definitely going to be squaring something. My suggestion is you sort of draw the circle out. I mean, I did it and obviously my drawing is garbage. So yours can't be much worse than mine, even if it's, and it's probably better. Just so you can see that the thing that they're showing you is the diameter. You almost never use the diameter as a measure. Occasionally when you do circumference, you do. But that's little kid stuff. Almost consistently, you will use the radius just because it's more functional for a variety of different uh, equations and things. So your best plan is to go ahead and say, like, oh, it's a diameter. I have to divide that by 2 because I don't care about being the diameter. I just want the radius. And, of course, 6 divided by 3. Or 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that's the part you're going to need. That's what you're going to square, by the way. So the radius is here. The most likely missed part of this question is either just guessing randomly or squaring six because you didn't see that it's the diameter. Reading is important. It's fundamental or whatever. So three squared is, of course, nine. And I'll just rewrite this all here. The K value, by the way, is the Y equivalent of the um, center. So this is your K, and this is your H. And X minus 2. The other issue with this is they're going to try to get you on the whole, uh, this is X minus and this is Y minus. If you can remember that when you form a circle, that when you have your H and K values, if it's the point on the actual coordinate plane itself, you need to change the sign. So opposite signs for both. So in this case, you started with two. So my H equivalent, or so my, sorry, that is my H. Uh, my equation equivalent, I need to, when I write it in, I need to make it minus two because it's X minus. This is Y minus negative five. That's the same as Y plus five. We'll go ahead and square three squared. Why not? So you end up with x minus 2 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 9. So these are out just because of that. And then right here. So the answer to number 7 is D. Now what's the deal with this question? How am I supposed to ever remember the formula for the equation of a circle? Well, if you remember small pieces of it, first off, you'll probably look over it a little bit before your test, hopefully. Um, but... Look at the answer choices. This is a multiple choice question. Do you use it to your advantage? If this is squared and this is squared, you have to know that at some point this number came from a number that was squared. Be smart about determining whether you're given the diameter or the radius because almost all the formulas are going to use radius anyway, so convert it to radius if you don't already have it. If you don't have a, something written on your, either with a picture or even as r equals the number, and then work from there. That's where you put that. So that's where that number comes from. And just remember that when you do make a circle, if you're given the points on the coordinate plane for H and K, you need to do the opposite sign to get there. So what once was 2 and negative 5, when I put it into the formula, becomes X minus 2 and Y plus 5. So those should change when you end up in this formula. And then just square whatever the radius is. A few little traps that they could catch you on, but not a super difficult problem to get correct if you just practice a few of them a the uh, couple of nights before the test.